Hello, Felicity de Fombelle from the Catholic Voice. I'm at St. Patrick's School at the K-10 School in Cooma, and I'm with Molly, and I'm with Ava, Year 10 students. And I'm here today because last week, Molly and Ava were journalists. You were journalists for the week, yes? Yes. yes. So they entered a competition. It was like a, competi a competition. They had to apply uh, with Australian Catholics magazine and they were chosen uh, across the country. Yes. There were nine students chosen and they were the only two from the one school, which is St. Pat's at Cooma. And they spent last week uh, as journalists. It was an online process, of course, because you couldn't be together in Melbourne. So I'm here today as the journalist, asking questions of the girls about their experience last week. So Molly, do you want to chat to the Catholic Voice and tell um, our readers what it was like for you last week to be a journalist? Um, it was really eye-opening and quite different to see sort of the behind-the-scenes process of journalism. And I really loved developing my writing and brainstorming with other like-minded people from around Australia. So I found that really interesting. One of the things the girls was telling me was they interviewed a few journalists last week and that was a highlight for you, wasn't it, Ava? Yeah. So do you want to explain who you interviewed last week? Um, I got to interview, interview Neve Mahoney, who was a who actually did the internship a couple of years ago, and now she's a journalist. And what was that like for for you, Ava? Um, it was really eye opening to see that this internship could lead us to become actual journalists ourselves, just like Neve was. And and Molly, you interviewed Adele Ferguson. Now she's an award winning journalist, uh, very well known, and her pieces have led to well legislation and legislative change. Do you want to tell us about that, Molly? Um, I never really knew journalism could have that impact. And like Adele was saying, it's sort of, it's something that she's really passionate about and she really enjoys. So seeing her perspective on journalism and the sort of career path she's taken into investigative journalism, I thought that was something interesting I didn't know about and I might consider in the future. That we were talking about the fact that Adele was saying that she's done uh, investigative pieces about the banks which have led to changes in the laws, but also at a cost, a personal cost. What was that about Molly? Um, Adele explained to us that she's sort of just missed going to jail a few times for um, what she's written and she's been stalked and sort of people have come outside her house. so. That was something that I feel like no one ever hears about on that side of the behind the scenes of journalism. So I found that really interesting and quite shocking, to be honest, about yeah. the reality of it. Yeah. A great opportunity for you two women. So congratulations for being chosen among nine from across the country for the, for the project. And as we were saying too, it's opened up perhaps a pathway for you for the future. Yeah. Ava and Molly. Yeah. So when the Catholic Voice is looking at recruiting <laughs> down the track, we'll know where to come. We'll come to Cooma. Thanks for joining us.